damn it. TRX players are so cringe. Most of them just KOS and are too scared to fight one to one. Seriously, which dinosaur can dominate the game without not requiring any kind of skill? <laughs> oh, I'm glad you asked. As the clan leader, it is my duty to answer your questions. So basically, what you want to know is which dinosaur is the strongest? Um, well, yes. Well then, let's find the answer, shall we? To find out, we first need to know and to pick out the candidates on who is worthy of the title the strongest. Though there is no official stats of the dinosaurs, some people have come together and created a good stat sheet on Path of Titan, the official reddit. We are going to use that as a base for our ranking. Are you sure these stats are accurate? Well, there's no way I can confirm this is to be legitimate, there's really nothing denying it uh, to be false either. We're going to focus on official dinos only. From Carnis, I'm only going to focus on T-Rex and Spino, considering that they are the only ones with 1000 HP. With the exception of the Sarko, who has 210 damage. Under the right condition, a Sarko can fight and even kill most Spino players. From Herbivores, I'm going to focus on the Dino Kyres, Barspolia, and Eotrike. All three have an HP bar of 1000 or more. And while the damage are less than the Carnis, their attacks packs quite the punch. But what about the type of the creature? Well, it's true that the type of the creature can give the edge in a battle. Each type depends on how the player likes to play. One can be an outward player, always be on the offensive. Or you can be a defensive and tank all the hits. However, that comes back to the player's skill, the factor we want to avoid. We're looking at stats alone. While there's nothing confirmed, I'd say the statute is made of balanced creatures. So we will be focusing on balanced creatures. So how are we going to figure out who is strongest? Well, with the exception of Barspolia, they all have an HP bar of 1000. We need to calculate which one who is able to deplete that number the fastest. Starting off, we first need to look at their arsenal. I have already gone over the arsenal of Spino and Rex in previous videos. But since then, there have been some changes, mostly the Rex who have gained more abilities. One of them, it is a charge headbutt attack, which deals a certain amount of damage per tick. However, it is just a stamina drain, so it is really not recommended. It would also be difficult to calculate what difference the hide will uh, make. Therefore, we are just going to ignore the effect of the hide and focus on HP bar alone. Then there is the Spinosaurus, who has its damage output nerfed, but with the upcoming map of Gondwa and confirmed changes for the semi-aquatic creatures, while we don't know if that means buff to the stats, we will just have to wait and see. We will also be ignoring the bleed attacks and bleed damage. Uh, bleed damage is more of a status effect damage and this will be a more pure damage focused. Speaking of semi-aquatic, the Sarko. While its damage output is the current dominant of all creatures in game, there is one problem that keeps it away from the title of strongest. Well, just take it like this. I'm the croc, the monster of the lake, the strongest of them all. Hey, why don't you come up here and say it? Why don't you come down here? Ah yes, as if I'm going to go where you got the advantage. Hi. Off. While the Sarko is still a threat in water, a decent Spino player can still easily take the crown as the king of the lake. However, that leads to the factor of terrain, which can be levitated by the player's experience, which leads back to the player's actual skill. And we don't want that. So this will be just a face-to-face -face damage output versus damage output. It's time to calculate. First, Spino versus Sarko. By doing simple math, we can calculate that Sarkos need 5 well-placed charge bite to finish a Spino. The same goes for the Spino. Without the factor of terrain and skills on paper, this will be a draw no matter what. So we will try normal attacks. Here Sarkos need 12 well-placed bite to kill up Spino, while the Spino only needs 12 bites. On paper, Spino wins against Sarko. Now, on the Hervis. Wait, pardon, what about the Sarko versus Rex? Oh, about that. Do not worry, we will come back to that in a bit. Now, with the exception of Barspoldia, they all have a thousand HP. The arsenal is as following, you can pause the video if needed. The arsenal consists of a normal attack, tail attack and some other random abilities. 
will be focusing on their strongest damage output attacks, so uh, no tail attacks. So, by doing some quick math, using its strongest attack, the Dino Kyrus need 17 attacks to kill the others, and 25 to kill a Barsboldia. A Barsboldia need 14 tail slam to kill the others, or 19 headbutts. The Spino needs 6 charge attack to kill the others, and 9 against Barsboldia. 15 normal attacks for the others, and 22 against the cow. The trike is the same as Spino. On normal attacks, 15 against others, and 22 against the cow. The stomp ability and the charge ability is really not recommendable, so we will leave them out of this. The Rex need 13 normal bites on the others, and 19 normal bites on the cow. However, there is a twist. Both the trike and Rex has the ability to buff their damage output. The trike can make its attack 1.3 times more lethal for 1 minute. With this in mind, its normal attack rises to 19.1 in damage output. Redoing the map quickly and the trike needs 11 normal attacks to kill the others and 15 against the cow. Of course this can only happen during the 1 minute duration, however, considering there's only 1 second cooldown between normal attacks, then a trike can deliver 2730 damage during a minute. It is safe to say that the goose is out of the competition. As for the Barsbolia, we need to look back at the damage per seconds. The Barsbolia Tail Slam attack, which is also its strongest attack, has 4 second cooldown. With the damage only being put out every 4th second, then the damage I put in a minute for the cow is 1125 damage from Tail Slam. As for headbutts, that would be 1650. By that time, the trike would have already made beef out of it. And even without the boost, a trike can deliver 2100 normal attacks in a minute. This officially makes the EO trike on paper the strongest herbivore in game. But Alden, what about the Rex? You haven't said anything about the Rex yet. Since you asked, you shall receive. For you see, according to the stat sheet, it boosts the attacks 1.11 times. In other words, the damage output is now 88.8. .8. Now, that doesn't seem that much impressive, no. But the deadliness doesn't lie with the damage output, no, it is in the duration of the boost. The Tyrant Roar ability lasts 1 minute and 20 seconds. The Rex's normal attack is its strongest, with only 1 second of cooldown. Which means that during that time a Rex can deliver 3552 damage. This damage output outclasses the other opponent. The cooldown of the charge up attack on both Sarko and Spino are almost 10 seconds. Meaning they can only give high damage every 10 seconds. Heck, they would do more damage with normal bites. During the same amount of time as the duration of the Tyrant Roar effect, the Sarko can deliver 1680 charge attack damage and 2000 normal attack damage. A Spino can deliver 1380 charge damage and 2800 normal attack damage. Even without the effect of Tyrant Roar, the Rex normal attack is the strongest out of 3 by default, meaning even without the applied effect, it can deliver more damage per minute, making the Rex on paper the strongest carnivore in game. So who's the strongest? Of course, this is about who is the strongest. So we got the Eo trike from the herbivores and T-Rex from the carnivores. Time for good old math. So with both of them having 1000 HP, this will make it easier. It all comes down to who gives up most damage and the fastest. So by doing the calculation, this divided by how much my brain wants to stop doing math, multiply with hit that red button and thumbs up under the title for watching this far, subtract it with the hours I used making this, and lastly add the numbers of friends I have. And so we will get the answer. Are you okay? And the strongest dinosaur of Path of Titan on paper is the EO Triceratops. Even if the Rex has longer duration applied effect and does more damage during that time, it came down to who would lose the 1000 HP first. With both being normal attacks, the damage per second, which was so deciding before, now became irrelevant. With its slightly more damage output, the trike took the W. Of course it would be different if there was no status effect applied, in which case the Rex would win. But unfortunately I'm looking at most damage output possible. 
The winner is Eotriceratops. Am I still relevant?